pulled up. They don't love you like I love you. Slow down. They don't love you like I love you. Back up. They don't love you like I love you. Step down. They don't love you like I love you. This is a hold up by Beyonce from her new Lemonade album. That visual album was great. I feel like I've heard this song before. When you love someone, I guess you can say that you know them better than a lot of people would. They're just saying like, I love you more than like anyone else. Probably some like girl that, or girl or guy that they maybe lost, they're trying to get back. I'm better than anyone that you'll ever date because they won't love you like I do. Can't you see there's no other man above you what a wicked way to treat the girl that loves you. He's going out with someone else and then she's like kind of jealous of it. She's like, I love you more than her. You did something wrong, maybe cheated. People are like crappy to each other. And I guess he's like not treating her well, even though she loves him. That happens so like often nowadays that like girlfriends and like loved ones go unappreciated. And they feel like, oh, just because they're around now means that they're gonna be around forever which isn't true. Something don't feel right because it ain't right, especially coming up after midnight. I smell your secret and I'm not too perfect to ever feel this worthless. Ooh, maybe he's cheating because she says I smell your secret whenever midnight is mentioned in a song. Majority of the times it's about someone cheating. Is this from the new Beyonce album? First off, why the f would you cheat on Beyonce? The, who the hell are you, Jay-Z? This I think is like self empowerment. Even though I'm not like the best, I shouldn't feel like this. She's not stupid. She obviously knows what he's doing and that's kind of what makes her feel worthless is the fact that he's doing this and she knows. How did it come to this? Going through your call list. I don't want to lose my pride, but I'm a, I'm not going to say that. I don't want to lose my pride, but I'm going to me up a bitch. Yep, that's Beyonce. She's going through his recents. Cause you know, I don't know if you can delete those or not. Haven't really tried, which is a good thing. Whoever um, he's like cheating with, She's dead. She's a dead woman. She's gonna beat that girl up, which doesn't make sense because it's the guy that's cheating on her. So I feel like, if anything, the bitch is her boyfriend that she needs to beat up. Know that I kept it sexy and know I kept it fun. There's something that I'm missing. Maybe my head for one. Maybe there was something she didn't see. That's why she didn't feel she had her head on her shoulders. Now she's shifting from like being super sad about this guy cheating on her to just being like, look what you're missing. Apparently there's something that like she doesn't have, which is why he's doing stuff with people other than her. There must be something missing. And then she goes, oh right, like my head's missing, like I'm crazy because I love you so much and you're like a piece of poo. What's worse, looking jealous or crazy, jealous or crazy, or like being walked all over lately, walked all over lately, I'd rather be crazy. Heck yeah, dude. Jealousy, you get nothing out of it. Do I want to look extremely jealous or do you want to go full on crazy and maybe take a baseball bat into a car? It's better to just be with yourself and like be insane or whatever versus being with someone else and like being walked all over and not treated like you deserve to be treated. Like it's better to be alone than in bad company. Jealous, if anything, it means that you don't like something in yourself and so you hate that person because of it. And I feel like if anything, that's so much worse because then it looks bad on your own self-esteem. And you should be a bad bitch all the time. It's true that I'm a bad bitch. Bad bitch. Let's imagine for a moment that you never made a name for yourself or mastered wealth they had you labeled as a king. Never made it out the cage, still out there moving in them streets. Never had the baddest woman in the game up in your sheets. She's like assuming that if he wasn't famous that they would still be together. Is this Beyonce's song? I'm not sure. What if you never had me? What if you never had the baddest woman around? It's like, who would you be? The baddest woman in the game in your sheets? That's obviously like herself. Like, like, come on, bro, like you had this. She's saying, let's imagine that maybe you never were extremely wealthy. Maybe you never did get up all the way to the top. You still had something and destroyed that. Would they be down to ride? No, they used to hide from you, lie to you. But y'all know we were made for each other, so I find you and hold you down. If he didn't have his name, then like no one would want to sleep with him. If he wasn't like as amazing as he would, would people still be like hanging out with him? She's saying like, no, they wouldn't. Like they would hide from you and they would lie to you and tell you like, oh no, like I have plans. They were all about each other, soulmates and all this great stuff. And that's why she kept him. That's why she held him down. That's why she tied him down. Now she's kind of being like, I'm still like the only girl for you. Which she shouldn't, he's such a bad guy if he was cheating on her. Oh, it is such a shame you let this good love go to waste. She's like, you screwed up. 
too bad. She knows that it's not her fault. So I guess that's good. She's like, I was the reason that you're like here and up in a king today. So it's like, it's not really gonna affect me that when we break up, it's like gonna affect you more. I feel like now she's just kind of like completely done with him. It's all in the trash can and you're a trash can. If you know that you have someone that loves you and really takes care of you and always like wants the best for you, don't let that person go. I always keep the top tier, five star. Backseat loving in the car. Mm. Like, make that wood, like, make that wood holly like a boulevard. <laughs> what? She sees that as, like, that breakup was good for her because now she can go out there and do what she wants, you know, like, and, and if that guy's not gonna appreciate it, someone else will. She's bringing up that confidence again, like, I'm fantastic, I'm like five star, top tier, I'm 10 out of 10. She views her part like she was doing the best she could, but he didn't notice and didn't really care about any of it. I hop up out the bed and get my swag on. I look in the mirror, say, what's up, what's up, what's up? There's just more self-gratification. Like, she she really likes herself. Yeah, yeah. See, strong individual woman. Women get put down, and then they feel like they have to be the sad person after a breakup, and they don't. They honestly don't. No one has to be that sad person after a breakup. I don't need you. Like, I'm my own person. I'm going to be, like, self-empowered and I'm gonna look at myself in the mirror and get my swag on. I'm gonna be, gonna be cool. <laughs> so, what do you think this song is about? It was about their relationship and how he messed up and she knows what she, she's keeping it real and doing everything right and it was just all your fault. It's about a girl who got cheated on but she doesn't care because she's going to stay classy and fun and not worry about him. She's saying like, all right, you know, I don't need you. Like, I made you, I've been here for you. But you know, that's your fault, you're missing out, like you're leaving this behind, so you know, that sucks for you. You don't need a man that's gonna treat you like shit. Like you're great on your own and you don't need a man to like validate that for you, because you're already great. Do you know the song's title and artist? I don't. I can't think of it. If you tell me I'm gonna be like, oh my gosh, I should have known that, but I don't know. I'm gonna say Beyonce, but I do not know the song. Pretty sure the artist is Beyonce. I don't know the song. Lemonade by Beyonce. Lemonade by Beyonce. It's Beyonce from Lemonade, and I think it's Hold Up. It's called Hold Up by Beyonce. Oh. Wait, Beyonce? Oh, is this from Lemonade? Hold Up. See, there you go, Queen B. My friend's gonna kill me, but I didn't know this song. Because guys, like you don't understand, I went to the Beyonce concert on Thursday. This song comes off of Beyonce's latest album, Lemonade, which tells the struggle of a woman who is tested by her partner's infidelity. Some think it's based on her and Jay-Z's relationship. Oh, must be like very personal to her. It would make sense that it was like based on her and Jay-Z's relationship because that's like their public, it's like a public image. So many women and men too get cheated on. So even if she wasn't cheated on, she can still make this song that will empower tons of people. When someone talks about stuff like this, like they automatically think like, boom, it has to be their husband. Even if it wasn't, you know, there's a lot of people out there in the world that go through this and this can touch a bunch of people. It'll be good. Thanks for watching us break down Hold Up on the React channel. New shows every week. Make sure to subscribe. Have a great song for us to break down? Leave your recommendation in the comments. Bye everyone. When life gives you lemonade, break it down into lemons. Wait, that's not how it goes. Goodbye. <laughs>